Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Brianna, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my skincare routine. So yeah, I've been wanting to make this video for a very long time, but I just have been experimenting with different products, trying to see which ones are the best for me. Um, but I finally feel like I am going to be able to stick with these products for a while because I really like them. So. Yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. I just want to start off by saying that my skin is definitely far from perfect, so it's not like this skincare routine is going to completely give me flawless skin or anyone flawless skin, but I definitely think that it is helping a lot with my acne. And so, the first thing that I like to go in with is this CeraVe Acne Foaming Cream Cleanser. Um, and if you guys have any questions of where I got any of my skincare, skincare products, please just comment that down below and I'll be able to let you guys know. But yeah, this is the first thing and it is a face wash. So I usually just like to rub this all over my face after splashing my face with water. But first, I like to get the water kind of warm because it starts off extremely cold. So just give it a minute to warm up. So now it is pretty warm. So I just kind of splash my face with water. And then now that it's completely covered in like a thin layer of water, I just like to go in with this. And I usually use like a little bit less than that. I don't know why I squared out so much today. But then just kind of rub it all over my face. And I always put my hair up into a clip before I do this because I feel like that is the best best way to keep all my hair out of my face. And I really go in with this. Like, I try to get it in every single crevice of my face. But then once it's like pretty much in my face, I just wash it off. And I make sure to get everything off as well. So now my face is nice and clean. By now I'm gonna go in with my toner, or at least I think it's a toner, I'm not completely sure. But I definitely like to shake it up because all of the stuff gets to the bottom. Here's what it looks like. It is by Clinique, and it is the Acne Solutions Clarifying Lotion. And I heard somewhere that it's bad to use these like little cotton pad things with this because they get stuck on your face. So as of right now, I've just been using my hands to put this all over my face. So I literally just take it like that. And then I just kind of put it all over the spots where I have the most acne. But I just want to say that my acne used to be like really, really bad. I think I've, it's gotten better over the years, but it just recently has started to get a little bit worse which is kind of annoying, but what can you do? But yeah, I'm like pretty meticulous about this. Next, I like to go in with this Neutrogena Stubborn Acne, kind of like a cream, I guess. I really like this. Um, I think it actually does work a lot. Works all day to help eliminate stubborn acne. So I like to just put on like that much and I just put that all over my face and I do it like in little dots, I guess. So that's done. Also, sorry if I keep looking over here. Um, it's just because I'm trying to use the camera as my mirror. So sorry about that. So the next thing that I like to go in with is this. I don't use this every single day, but lately since my acne has been pretty bad, I, I like to use it. Um, it is the Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Spot Gel by Neutrogena. So I guess it kind of goes with this a little bit. But it is maximum strength benzoyl peroxide. Um, so I don't... I use this sparingly because it is so small, but I do like to put just a teensy bit, as you can see, in the worst spots where I have the most acne, um, which usually I would say like over here, definitely. And then also 
up in my forehead area and since it's super bad today I'm just gonna put a teensy bit more on this side so that's done next thing I like to do is go in with a moisturizer this is like kind of nearing the end of my routine um, here it is it is so pretty like I absolutely love this color it's matching my nails as you can see um, but it is the Noom Boozin purple complex moisture ba balancing soothing cream and yeah that's what it looks like I really really love this it also has no scent which is surprising to me because I thought it was gonna smell like something but I put that much on and again just like my Neutrogena one I just kind of go in with little dots all over my face I don't know why, but all of a sudden this bump just popped up like on my lip. I literally hate when that happens. So now once that is all spread out on my face, it feels super hydrated because I found before when I used to not even use this at all and I would just put this on, um, it would dry out my skin so much and it would just feel so bad. But now finally I go in with a sunscreen and I actually just recently started putting on sunscreen on my face and I really, really enjoy doing that because that even when it's not that sunny outside or it's winter, the UV rays are still harmful. So this one is super nice. It actually does not leave like a white cast on your skin and it's really thin. Um, it is the Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel by Is, is Tree, I'm pretty sure. And it is SPF 50. I mean, that's like kind of a lot to be honest, but I like to just go in with that all over my face. So here's how my skin looks now. I actually think it feels really smooth. Like you can't even tell the difference honestly with this camera and the lighting, but it actually does feel a lot smoother. Like I'm not even joking. Um, but the final thing that I like to do is this. This is my savior right here. Um, it is the Dream BB Pure Cream, I guess, by Maybelline New York. Um, and it actually has some acne medicine in it. It has 2% salicylic acid and it is basically tinted acne medicine um, Because I like to cover up this as you can see Basically, I like to go in a little bit at a time like I do not like to use much at a time I don't want it to look cakey um, But I go in with that first and I just kind of dab it all over my red spots and it is a sheer tinted acne medicine so it does not get everything but I like to believe that it is better than nothing That was it for my skincare routine as you can see hopefully you can see it is the redness is just covered up a little bit more which just makes it better but I typically would also go in right here and here but I just didn't yet I'll do it with this I just didn't yet though because I haven't eaten breakfast yet which means I haven't brushed my teeth so I just don't want to have to do it again but yeah that was basically it However, I am going to show you guys what my face looks like when I'm done with everything. Um, but I am going to leave some makeup, makeup out today because I'm not going out anywhere. It is Saturday. So, yeah. But I will show you guys the final product. But before I do, I just want to say um, a few other things that I use for my skin. Not necessarily right now, but like when I get out of the shower and stuff like that. I like to use this for my body, my body lotion right now. It is the Cetaphil lotion moisturizing lotion but yeah that one is pretty good i also like to use this sometimes with my body wash um and i don't use this every single day during the shower but it is a bump eraser body scrub and i just like to use it on my arms um and where basically where there's like bumps on my skin that i don't want 
And then sometimes for my hands when they get dry, like especially right now, I like to use, I don't have it with me right now because it's in my room, but I like to use this strawberry lotion. I'll post a picture of it right here, but it is so, so good. I put it on every single night before bed, especially in the winter time. It smells like strawberries, smells so good. So definitely recommend. I got that for Christmas one year, I think. And then currently for my perfume, this is my favorite. I need to get more of it, but I use My Way by Armani. But yeah, that is my favorite. But anyway, now let's move on to my finished look. Guys, so here is the finished look. Um, I'll kind of bring it into the light more so you can like see my face. Oh my God, that's actually very bright. Sorry about that. But here's what it looks like. Um, I didn't really add anything. I just added some lip gloss and whatever. and some eye makeup but if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel and i could also do a makeup tutorial or like a makeup routine video as well or like a shower routine so just comment that below if you want to see that and i'll see you guys in the next video bye, bye.